Anyone looking for a compact off-road SUV with a reputation of being a force of nature, know the words Jeep Wrangler. And now, a decade of success. The 2020 Jeep Wrangler just won Off-Road SUV of Texas by the Texas Automotive Writers Association for the 10th consecutive year. Obviously, these journalists were smitten about the Jeep Wrangler, but not everyone has high praise for the Jeep Wrangler. Consumer Reports had a pretty long list of things they didn't like about it when they reviewed it, and a lot of those complaints dealt with how it performed on the road tests and with its reliability. Anyone riding or driving in the Wrangler could feel the bumps or dips in the road, they say. The SUV felt a bit shaky, even when the tires gripped smooth surfaces as well as rough ones. All in all, the 2020 Wrangler, they say, just isn't comfortable to ride in, especially on long-distance travel trips. Braking wasn't up to par during the testing period and maneuvering left a lot to be desired. The wind noise became overwhelming to the testers when traveling at high speeds. The slower you go, the better it gets. Headlights were okay with the low beams, but you hardly notice a difference when you switched over to the higher ones. As for reliability, the Wrangler has had a few bad years of engine, transmission, and body issues. But they did have a few things they did like about it. They say the cargo area was decent enough for an off-road capable SUV. The interior finish has high quality materials and a few stylish touches like a strong gear selector with the classic Jeep logo imprinted on it. The 3.6 liter V6 had an impressive acceleration time of 7.3 seconds going from 0 to 60, which isn't bad for an off-roader and surpasses quite a few of its competitors. Consumer Reports did advise buyers to consider the four-door option as they can handle 1,500 pounds more in towing versus the two-door version. They say they feel the Rubicon handled off-roading quite well, while the Sahara trim offers four-wheel drive on a continuous basis without having to make a judgment call on when it's needed. One thing that pleased them the most is the Uconnect infotainment system the vehicle comes with, believing it to be one of the most user-friendly features the Jeep has. So what's been your experience with the Jeep Wrangler? Have you driven one? Do you own one? Leave your comments below and let me know if Consumer Reports is off base or on the mark with their thoughts. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. Adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comments section below.